hello everyone in this video we will see how to create an l section from the uh, field data which are in the field book field book format uh, here we have the uh, labels and the chainage for the specific uh, for the specific uh, chainage we have the labels uh, in total we have 240 meters of the uh, length which are divided into 10 10 meters of interval uh, now we will see how to create an L section out of it. So I am now creating a new file. Let me save the file. I am checking the units it is in meters. Mm, I am giving it a simple name 100 test file. Now the file has been saved. We will now create a polyline. So first we will. Uh, it is 240 meters. So we will, we will create a polyline of uh, 240 meters. If you have an alignment, then you can only just uh, select it. Now here I don't have an alignment, so I'm creating a polyline and I am checking the length it is 240 meters in the properties now I want to create an alignment out of it so in the alignment tab I will create an alignment from the polyline I will just select the polyline it is ask, asking me uh, on which direction the changes are increasing I am just selecting it left to right I am naming the alignment alignment 01 keeping it as an existing alignment I am removing the curves now the alignment has been created now here I can see that after selecting it entirely uh, it has a polyline and an alignment but I want to add a label to this alignment so I will right click and edit alignment and add a label of only a major station of interval 10 meters now the changing is been done uh, left uh, left most part is zero considered and 240 is the uh, uh, right most part now after selecting all i can see that the label group is been provided alignment and alignment label is been created now the excel sheet uh, i have created an, a notepad sheet out of it and by going into the profiles and adding at a profile from the file and the selecting the file it is in the text format I am giving I, I have selected the alignment one giving it a name as an OGL labels existing profile I will do it afterwards now the profile has been created but it is not showing so I will create a profile view out of it this part pretty much known by you full grid method next it is automatically taking the changes it will automatically take the maximum and minimum levels now the band set as it is an Indian uh, Indian type so it will take an Indian type band set now this L section has been created but I don't want like this so I will import the files I, I will import these styles and settings from the another file 
which is my master file now here i have imported the file so little bit uh, style settings i need to be done it need to be done so i will right click on the profile view and in the profile view properties i will add the changes in the type and i will add the ground profile visual sheet which is which is name as in ground profile left now we'll remove the gap now the l section has been created now we will check that our l section is created as per our excel input uh, notepad input so let me check it out I consider one ninety change, whose level is six zero eight four seven seven, and yes, it is six zero eight four seven seven. So, it is up to the mark. So, in this video, I have see, uh, I have shown you how to create an L section out of the field book entries. That's all. Thank you.